Iran has already committed to attacking Israel again if they were to be attacked. So making U.S. personnel basically a military shield for Israel against Iran, they could very well be hit by Iran. So have you taken that into consideration? Because that could suck the United States and Iran right into the middle of a war. Well, let me be clear again. We don't seek a war with Iran. Um, and we don't want to see a wider regional conflict. But Iran proxy groups have attacked U.S. forces, you know, since October 17th, um, whether it be, you know, at any of, of the bases in Iraq and Syria or with our forces operating in the Red Sea um, or in the Eastern Med. So, um, again, this is a capability that is land-based, but that serves a similar purpose to what our destroyers are, did on October 1st in the Eastern Mediterranean, which was to help augment Israel's air defenses. So far, the U.S. has always said to Iran, don't, and they mm -hmm. have done some stuff. Um, so is that the basic message again, that we have U.S. personnel now where you say you're going to attack, so don't attack at all? Is that the message? For the message is that the United States stands with Israel in their self-defense, and that message has been clear from the very beginning.